Hello and welcome to MFCP Woodworking. My name is John. Today uh, I'm going to do a woodworking tip on an important skill if you look for free wood the way I do. Um, one of the most important tools I have for getting my wood is this beast here, a chainsaw. Alright, because I, uh, I don't get uh, pallet wood and things like that. I get uh, wood out of the bush, primarily. So I have my chainsaw. It's important to know how to take care of a chainsaw. It's important to keep the blade sharp, which I haven't done so well because it's pretty dull right now. I found that out yesterday when I cut uh, some firewood. It's dull because I normally sharpen it after every tank full of gas. It's more of a touch-up sharpening. I freehand it. It's better than what uh, I find I do a better job freehand than I do with the guide on it. If you've never done it before, when you buy a file to do your ch to uh, sharpen your chainsaw, get one with the guide on it. It'll at least teach you the right angle. It'll help you to keep it at the right angle. I find that I can feel the right angle. One, if they've been sharpened correctly, I can feel when the teeth are all on the blade the way they're supposed to. I've got contact with the file the way it's supposed to be. I can feel when I've got the angle right. I can see it too. I know when I'm getting it correct. There is a tool on the market, and they might advertise it during this video, which is why I mention it. I see this stupid thing advertised all the time. It's a... Uh, it's a tool that you put mount on the end of your chainsaw and you turn it on and you push it into the tool to sharpen your blade and it sharpens it like quick as a wink. Okay, which sounds wonderful, except for one thing. It improperly sharpens your saw. How often should you sharpen a saw that way? How about never? Okay, you reduce the, uh, the life of your uh, blade substantially doing that. And anybody who has good experience a lot of experience and does a lot of chainsaw work. I don't think they would touch that thing with a 10-foot pole. What it does, and I want to, I want my cameraman here to zoom in on the uh, on one of the teeth on this thing. And you got to tell me which one it is. You got to zoom right in. And I'm going to try to hold it steady. This is why we use a tripod today because uh, we got to hold this really steady. We got a good view of a tooth on there. This one here. Yeah. Okay. What this what this sharpener I'm talking about does is it sharpens the flat top edge of this. And if you look at this, if you look at the tooth, it's just a metal plate. You make that thinner, you make it weaker. You can probably only get away with sharpening it once or twice that way before it's too thin, uh, and it may break while you're uh, while using it. I I don't know that it's extremely dangerous. But I know once you break that off, you have no tooth anymore, and your saw is not going to cut anything. Never mind wood. Well, it might cut you, but uh, you're not going to stick your hand there if you've got any brains. You want your blade to last. The proper place to sharpen is inside that round edge here, and the file that you get is designed to fit right in there. That's the correct place to file it. What I do... You have to do each tooth at a time. What I do is I get my, uh, I hope I didn't knock the focus off there. What I do is I mark one tooth with a Sharpie belonging to my wife. It's okay, she knows about it. I mark one tooth so I know where I began and where I stopped. And I'm doing this by feel. I sharpen each tooth one at a time. I put three good strokes on it, each tooth all the way around, and then I come back from the other side. Theoretically, I take off about the same amount on every single tooth. And once you're good at it, you have a steady hand, this will work, and it'll keep your blade sharp and running efficiently. But you have to, sharp, you have to touch it up between every tank of gas is what I do. And I get good results out of it. Your blade will last long. You're sharpening it properly. You get better at it. Uh, you don't have to be perfect. Uh, one thing I find, if uh, it's hard to get the same pressure from both directions on the blade. Because you're 
if you're right-handed or left-handed, you're going to favor one side or the other. If you're, if when you're cutting, it cuts down nice and straight, you're doing really good. Both sides are about the same sharp. But I find, and, and I'm going to have them bring the camera up again. Just bring the camera up to my face a little bit here so you can see me. I find that if one side is sharper than the other, your blade is going to cut in and it's going to curve and you're going to get a rounded cut every time. If it's not too bad, don't worry about it. Keep sharpening, keep trying to get it right. The side that it's shying away from, if you need to put an extra stroke on each tooth on that side, it might make a difference. Um, you'll get it right before you waste a lot of blades. Uh, you won't you won't you won't do a lot of damage if you're doing it this way So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start sharpening this one. He's gonna focus on the blade again. I'm gonna go I don't know how good the lighting is here But I can I can feel when it's right We've got the angle right. It's the same angle as that's on the tooth I'm not lifting up too much which would take off too much of the blade and I'm not down too much, which wouldn't sharpen the tooth enough. I wouldn't get a good sharpening on it. So I'm going to stroke one, two, three. You got to make sure that you have a sharp file when you do this, or you won't be making any progress at all. You'll also notice I'm wearing heavy gloves to do this. The reason being is because I advance the blade by hand, keeping the uh, the blade lock off. And if your hand slips while you're doing this, and you're using your bare hands, which you can do, I've done it before, you take a pretty nasty chunk of meat out of one of your fingers, which I've also done before. And there's no sense injuring yourself. And I can... Watch this. It's not a lot of sharpening. I don't want to take a lot of material off. I want my blade to last. But the, it's important I do it between every tank of gas. And then my blade never gets that significantly dull that I'm not going to get a good cut. Now yesterday the blade was kind of dull I found. And you'll see sometimes I take more than three strokes is because sometimes I can feel I didn't get a good stroke. It bounced on the cut and I got to take a consistent amount of material off. I do have a, uh, a little electric grinder that will sharpen correctly. Um, I think I wasted my money on it because uh, you still have to work one tooth at a time and I don't see that I'll get much better than I would with this. It's important you have a sharp file. I have worked without a sharp file and the results were not very good. <laughs> I wasn't sharpening it, I was just kind of stroking along the thing. So one more to the other side here. This is why I'm saying I'm working with the other hand now. I am very, very much right-handed. There are some things I do well with my left hand, but not too many that I can't do with my right hand as well. And once this is sharp, I don't know how we're doing on time. I don't want to go past 10 minutes. But if I touch this up within the 10 minute time frame, that'll give you an idea. This is hand sharpening and it's really not that bad. It's really not that labor intensive. You're buying, a, a, if you buy one of those cheap sharpeners that char sharpen incorrectly, yeah, it's quick, but uh, how much time are you saving? I'm sharpening this blade in about 10 minutes. cameraman how's the time about 10 minutes about 10 minutes okay so we're gonna wrap it up here okay I just wanted to pass this on it's important when I go get wood this is this is a one of my prime tools 
and uh, I will try to get you something better during the week. Okay, guys, so thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe, hit the notification button. Also, uh, don't forget my cameraman here who runs MFs, it runs uh, Amy 2. Okay, he's got some good videos. He often takes walk videos where we're in the bush. And that's the last tooth. And we're done the video and we're done sharpening the saw. Thanks for watching and uh, keep it real.